Well, howdy. G'day, g'day. Well, we've driven, I don't know, it wasn't very far, it was shy of 100 k's. I think it was about 80, 85, 90 odd k's. And we're about 20, 30 k's shy of uh, Mount Magnet, not too far. Um, skies have changed a bit since uh, the Joker, where we were. Yeah, a lot of these clouds are starting to link together, which I don't like. But we've only just um, we've only just nipped ourselves just up off the highway. The truck's going to come by very soon, so it's coming. You'll be able to hear how close it is. But a beautiful flat field. I mean, we could have driven ourselves further back here and got way out of harm's way and out of all the noise and been well hidden. But the further you go back, <laughs> the more trip, more unstable ground that you have to travel on the way back. All right, have you got a four wheel drive? Here goes our mate on the road train. What has he got? Oh yeah, he's got four trailers. So um, yeah, Joker was great, loved it. And the drive here was fantastic. Uh, the road, just unbelievable to Mount Magnet. And um, anyway, um, yeah, on the way here, oh, huge excitement. We saw two families of um, emus. Um, the first one was uh, mum and two chicks and um, I pulled up just before them but they saw us and they were off into the bushes. Jeez, that was so funny. The chicks were doing figure of eights all the way <laughs> through all the bushes. Um, and then uh, the next one we pulled up, it must have been a mum and a dad. Huge. I mean, a normal road sign on the side that says, you know, slow down for this curb. He, he or she was taller than that sign. Massive. June popped out. She might put a little bit of... Uh, um, footage but it just may look like a Sasquatch moving a, through the bushes. <laughs> Bigfoot. <laughs> so yeah, all is good. We're going to hunker down here, um, get a little free spot. We'll uh, head into Mount Magnet uh, tomorrow and have a little look around and see what's there and then just the other side of Mount Magnet we'll uh, look for a place to stay. I think there's a place further down where there's um, possibly some yabbies and a uh, little dam and I'm keen to get there. So hopefully it doesn't rain too much or it hasn't rained too much and stuffed me all up. Talk too much, Jude, oh, she's gone. Anyway, she says I talk too much. Do I talk too much? Don't know. Yeah, I keep telling her. I keep telling her. Three days of fine weather, we'll be great. But I keep looking at all these, what I call black bums, on the bottom of these white clouds. And they're starting to look a little bit worrying. Fingers crossed. Sorry, honey. Had to get you out. But how often do you see such an amazing moon rising in the distance and if you swing your camera back past me and to the back, you can see an amazing sunset going down. I don't think I've seen that. How amazing is this? Jude sitting down having a cup of coffee. I think we count about six. One, two, three, four. They just walked up. Very, very spooky, very flighty. In fact, looks like they're quite inquisitive. Amazing to see them. And the road's just there too.
another great campsite down. Uh, it was just before Mount Magnet there. One of the second little green ones before Mount Magnet, you'll see. Yeah, good. Nice, big, flat, wide, open area. Trucks are a little noisy. There was a um, cattle grate down here somewhere, which you can hear. But you can park a bit further down the back here. And um, I'd just uh, be careful, of course, with um, any soft ground over rain and things. With the van, I wasn't prepared to do it, but with a four-wheel drive, um, yeah, you'd have a bit more confidence. So uh, today, Mount Magnet, have a look around there, and then just uh, the other side of Mount Magnet, we'll pull up stumps again, and as I say, just take it nice and easy. Fantastic morning this morning, seeing emus. They literally walked from here straight to the van, hooked a right, and went over into the paddock over there. Just amazing. I think six or seven of them. So thank you. No more um, yeah, hurried stops on the side of the road now to take a photo of a, an emu. They came and saw us. Love it. On our way. Next, next stop. All rorty. A little different attire today. I'll let you in on it soon, but uh, Jundu. Railway Dam. So uh, we've got the van there. It wasn't too bad access. It was a couple of little uh, uneven little spots, but walked it all first. Was pretty happy with it, and then we drove through. So uh, behind me, that's the uh, the wall of the dam, which I think uh, Jude had there when we were putting the the uh, the Abbey net out. There's one other van. You can go a little bit further down in here. I think I'm going to go for the walk a little bit further down here. Another van around the corner, and. Um, yeah, we snagged uh, one in there, should be quite pleasant. So uh, yeah, Jundu, it's an old old fashioned um, railway dam for the steam trains and things I think, a bit of water, and um, yeah, hopefully it might uh, produce a yabby. So what am I going to do? I'm dressed up in a bit of a tie because uh, man, there's some, there's some good looking sight. I mean, Mount Magnet, um, Sandstone and Payne's Fine and all those places, Leicester and Kalgoorlie, they're all gold, so I got my little detector with me. I went for a walk yesterday um, back down at the uh, the other spot there just before Mount Magnet and uh, oh, all looked promising, <laughs> but no luck, but it was a good fun, good walk. So uh, whilst I was walking the trail here, I noticed the guy was with a metal detector, so needless to say this gets pretty well done over, but um, the fact that we've had some rain and you know that washes things around and forever hopeful. So uh, I'll go out and see what I can find. So yeah, got my hat on, bit of sunscreen, got my sleeves, something a little bit bright so you can be seen in the bush there. And uh, long pants on, which I haven't had for a while, but just to try and uh, protect myself from the scratches or, I mean, lessen the chance of a snake bite a bit. Um, and I got my GPS, my EPIRB, and my compass. And um, yeah, basically I'm just gonna head out in that direction over there and uh, just go by the sun. So uh, I'll only go for an hour, but uh, Jude knows where I am, got water, first aid kit as well, so make sure you're always prepared out there and um, yeah, don't get lost in the moment. Go and give it a try. Where are you going, Dink? I'm going to put my opera house into Jandu Railway dam. I heard a rumour there might be a yabby. Or two. Or two, but it is um, probably out of season, too cold, all that sort of drama, so the odds are against me. So we've got some kumra peel, some of the leftover goat that we had, which was very nice. Jude found some sardines which might be getting a little bit old in the uh, pantry. And a little secret weapon. Sunlight. You didn't hear that from me. Fingers crossed, eh? How long are we going to leave it in there, Paul? Obviously, uh, 
the watch pot never boils, so I just leave it there and uh, check it in the morning, to be honest with you. But we could have a sneaky look, maybe just on dark. Cool, see you at dark. It's actually quite nice looking like that. Oh, oh, that looks like it's got something in it. What do you know? Wow. What do you think? There's a couple of good ones in there. Oh, well, it, oh. Looks like they're all in your, um, what is that, tuna? Something? I don't know, they're into everything by the look. A few of them you're going to have to throw back because they're a little bit small. Too small, yeah. We've got one, two, I reckon we've got two goodies. <laughs> oh look at he, he's grab him, he's a good size. The size of his muscle core kind of Oh he wanted a piece of that that core on And that one there looks quite good. This one yeah? Yeah. Okay. I might have some food up around the way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh he says no, I don't want to do it. Those ones look too small. Okay. A bit slippery there, someone could slide into the water. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. Light as day, is it? Ah, oh, disappointing. Oh no, there's a few in there. I can see a few. Yeah. A little bit small, some of them though. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a couple of big ones there. Leave me alone. Oh, they like the corn, didn't they? Oh, there it go. We're recording this. Another big claw over here. Mm. Come here. <laughs> Probably just get the big ones out and uh, basically let the little ones run. The little one? Yeah, the little one. Put them back in the water. Just about wagon ho time again. Um, Jundu, Jundu Railway Dam was nice, very nice. We had a good night last night. We uh, had a fire and uh, had a movie on. And it was a peaceful night. It was a little bit cooler. It's a little bit cooler today, as you can see too. It's taking a little while for the sun to peak up. Well, it is up, it's not coming through the cloud. So today we're heading to Sandstone. We're going to check out London Bridge and um, there's a brewery and um, got an old mate that I um, worked with in Kalgoorlie got to try and find a bit of his treasure so uh, fingers crossed it still exists so uh, yeah we'll wagon ho out of here and uh, it's not far we've got about 80 90 k's today so uh, looking forward to it I forgot but obviously Jude would put it in there those yabbies cool that was a lot of fun so it looks like um, we'll talk about it later. 